All right, praise the Lord. Pastor Steve Sterling from the Dallas Revival Center here in the heartbeat of heaven, Dallas, Texas. And uh, welcome to the brand new, beautiful year, 2021. Amen. So the number five is kicking in. Grace, you know what I mean? Uh, Angel, uh, blood, Jesus, those types of things are working on your behalf and for you, the number five. So we thank God for it. And so we're going to follow up on that theme this morning. And uh, it's around 937. Yes, we did make it through the holidays intact. Thank you, Jesus, in one piece. And everything is working symmetrically, uh, symmetrically in systematic uh alignment and God assignment more or less and uh, we thank God for it we're nothing worse for the holidays but we're bettered because we just uh, have been praying all the way through the holidays and that makes everything just fine and divine and uh, well we just give God the praise I'm going to read a couple scriptures here you know in, in Romans 832 he that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely give us all things freely give us all things all things means everything everything your heart's desires everything you wish want need uh, everything that is uh, on your list everything that's not even on your list um it's just everything that God is up to and God is doing and God is making happen. Uh, he's inviting you to joy with him and uh, praise with him and shout with him and dance with him and sing with him because all of those things are being done for him but for you as well. And he didn't spare any expense, you know, and... Uh, the Son has been delivered up for for us all. For us all. You know, that goes along with John 3.16. God so loved the world that he gave. Isn't that wonderful about God? He's such a giver. If you really want to know how to operate on those levels. He spared not his own Son, Romans 8.32. You know, John 3.16. God so loved the world that he gave. Say, and uh, he spared no expense. He gave his only, his one and only. He gave his one and only. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Precious commodity. A very, very precious commodity. And you know how a father loves the son. Uh, a natural father loves the son dearly, but much more. Does the Heavenly Father love the Son? And did he love the Son? He still loves the Son. So God so loved the world that he gave his one and only. That everyone, listen to this, everyone, that word everyone is all inclusive. Who believes, so there's no stipulations, there's no uh, unlevel ground. It's all level ground when it comes to sharing and the caring of God. You can remember uh the word grace has the word care in it. That everyone who believes in him, so the, the, the whole point is believing, believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Now that goes uh, in synchronization and harmonization with uh, John 10.10. 10. Of course, I want to try to read it from another translation here. Uh, one that I really like is um, the uh, TPT translation. It says a thief has only one thing in mind. He wants to steal, slaughter, and destroy. Uh, King James says kill. But I have come to give you everything, look at that, in abundance, more than you expect. Life in its fullness until you overflow. I've come to give you everything in abundance, more than you expect. Life in its fullness until you overflow. I am the good shepherd who lays down my life as a sacrifice for the sheep. There it is. 
And there it is emphasized fabulously, greatly. Isn't that just glorious? And uh, we have that on our mind today. That eternal life is given, John 3.16, John 10.10, 10, you know, in that manner. You know, Romans 4.25, he was delivered over to death for our trespasses and was raised to life for our justification. So just as if we've never sinned, he's raised it up. He's raised us up. He's raised the totality of, of who we are and what we represent in our total uh, life uh, essence, total life uh composition. He's lifted it up, lifted all of it up, raised it up to life. There it is again, that John 10.10, 10, John 3.16, raised it up to life, that kind of a life, that high life, that bona fide life, that blessed life, that spirit life, that life and life more abundantly kind of a life. Um, it was done at a time when we were, we were not even um, candidates for it, not even ready for it, Come at a t came at a time when we weren't even uh, qualified, Romans 5, 6, for at just the right time. And see, this is what God's got me on right now. It's just the timing of the thing. Since we're in the new year and uh, we're, in a, and we're in a new gear and we're flowing and uh, in a wonderful way in the fresh waters of uh, those things that God is uh, wanting to bring, it's like brand new spring you know it's just like being born anew all over again god rolls over the calendar and puts up a 2021 for us thank god for it we rejoice that we are candidates for it and with it we thank god um, that we're actually qualified to be here period romans 5 6 for just the right time just at the right time i want you to i want that to just stick in your mind just uh i want that just to uh, be embossed in your brain just at the right time 2021 is just at the right time while we're still powerless christ died for the ungodly yeah the ungodly the ungodly part of us the disqualified part of us the disheveled part of us the disturbed part of us the uh imploded part of us the part of us that uh, doesn't know how to be whom god wants it to be and then Romans 5, 5, 8 says, For God proves his love for us. He, there it is. Proves his love. Proves his love. So just at the right time, he's proving his love. See? Romans 5, 6, just at the right time. When we're powerless. Romans 5 and 8. God proves his love. Proves his love. Proves his love for us in this. That while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. And I know a lot of people coming up out of this holiday, coming out of this experience from 2020, the end of the year to 2021, doing the shift. A lot of the shifting has been unbalanced. Uh, a lot of the shifting has been uh, a little bit rough and has been a little bit dissident and discordant and not according to how we would like to see things go, show and manifest and make themselves uh make themselves known but christ is doing it in major ways and major plays right now and is shifting those gears for us and moving us ahead here in the uh, second day of the new year on this beautiful saturday 2021 in january hallelujah and i want you to know that you're qualified for everything uh, regardless how you feel, if you feel powerless, if you feel ungodly, if you feel like you're a sinner, if you feel like you haven't uh, cut the grade, if you haven't made it, if you feel like you're disqualified, whatever it may be. First Corinthians 3.21, therefore stop boasting in men, all things are yours, all things are yours. In other words, cut out this, I've got to qualify and I've got to do it, and, and if I don't do it, it's not going to happen because, you know, God's already done it. Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. So it's already been done. We're supposed to enter into his rest so that we can have his very best, pass every test, because he has already done so. First uh, Corinthians 3.21, therefore stop boasting in man, all things are yours. Uh, yeah. 
and he's not withholding anything. And, and as we start out and erase the board from 2020 and just wash it with a nice uh, soapy clean, you know, water, you know, get the whole chalkboard cleaned up and let it dry out and then begin to write the first words of the beginning of the year. We've got to know that in Psalm 8411, for God, the Lord God is a sun and a shield. See, a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. Oh, I love that. Grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold uh, from them that walk uprightly. No good thing. Uh, no good thing. Uh, let that freeze in your mentality. Let that just uh, effervesce in your reality. No good thing will he withhold. Uh, there it is. That is let that phraseology play over and over in your spirit, mind, and in your heart in your soul, in your imagination, in your thoughts, in your disposition. No good thing will he withhold. See, there it is. From them that walk uprightly. And there it is. He's not holding anything back. Hallelujah. And, and we have great reward. We have great protection. Uh, we've been selected and we've been chosen in all of this. Genesis 15, 1, after these events, uh, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision, do not be afraid, Abraham, for I am your shield and your very great reward. I am your shield and your very great reward. There it is. So the reward system is already kicked in for you. Uh, and, no, and don't be afraid. Uh, a wipe, intimidation, fear, phobia, concerns, any anxiety, let it just dissipate and dissolve in this 2021 year <clears throat> in Psalm 34 9 fear the Lord ye his saints for those who fear him lack nothing uh, those who fear him lack nothing see and so there, there's a theme beginning to play out here those who fear him lack now there's quali qualifiers here We've got to fear him reverence him honor him respect him see lack nothing and then um, you know from them that walk uprightly in Psalm 84 11 so We've got to realize that God wants to set things in order and set things right in our lives. And uh, this no good thing theme is just amazing. As we look at uh, Psalm 84, uh, 11, no good thing. Um, Psalm 34, 9, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. Those who fear him lack nothing. Um and again, it picks up in Psalm 34, 10, young lions go a lacking and hungry. See, we're not lacking, we're not hungry. In this new dispensation, in the sensation of the wonderful that God is bringing and singing, and God is declaring and vocalizing and propagating and prophesying, and that's being enunciated heaven over you and I, young lions go a lacking and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. The fact that you're listening to this broadcast, the fact that you're listening to these words, the fact that you're listening to this dissertation lets you know that you're in a qualifier for those who seek the Lord and that in that qualifier, you're not going to lack any good thing. You lack, you will lack no good thing, no good thing. So, before I uh, remark about a few uh, PowerPoints that I got from Leroy Thompson, Dr. Leroy Thompson, a couple of days ago, <clears throat> I did post it on Facebook, but uh, I'm going to just uh, throw out the uh, seeds of those threads of those beautiful um, sentences and phrases of wisdom as we start off the new year. In Psalm 18:2, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold. So we start out the year as God is our stronghold. God is our fortress. God is our deliverer. He's our rock, and uh, we take refuge in him as a shield. He's the horn of our salvation. So it's all it's all gilded and glaring and gleaming and going forward as we speak right now. So some of the things that uh, Dr. Leroy Thompson talked about in terms of our financial future in 2021, he talked about wisdom, the wisdom of sowing. Um, 
Here's some of the words and phraseologies he used. Sowing is how to live in the supernatural financially. Sowing is how to live in the supernatural financially. Sowing switches us from the wisdom of the world and its financing to the wisdom of God and his financing. Sowing creates divine substance for debt-free living. Sowing creates divine substance for debt-free living. Sowing activates dreams and desires given in proper timing. Sowing activates dreams and desires given in a proper time frame. Borrowing wisdom in some cases comes from God. Borrowing wisdom in some cases comes from God. In other words, you may be borrowing a certain amount of money for an automobile, but you may not necessarily be paying out the full term. You may be believing God for payoff, early payoff. Same with a mortgage for a house, same for anything else you might purchase in a large manner. The money might have been accredited to you because of your good credit and uh, favor with the bank. But then the favor of God may hit you from time to time. Receiving uh, lending is not a bad thing. Um, sowing in itself, the act of sowing, the action of sowing has the wisdom in it of debt free living has the wisdom of debt free living sowing is an investment system created by God that is better than any man made system including stocks and bonds sowing is an investment system created by God that is better than any man made financial system including Stocks and bonds. God's system of sowing is directed into the kingdom of God. God's system of sowing. In other words, when you sow, the money sown should be directed into and for the kingdom of God and the propagation of the good news. Hallelujah. And when we choose to sow and... Uh, live out of the way of uh, God's uh, prescription uh, for prosperity, his plan for prosperity, uh, then what happens is prosperity, blessing, wealth, abundant angels go to work masterfully for us out of that system that God has provided in seed time and harvest. Amen. Angels are masterfully working as we are sowing. In sowing, nothing can control or block the process of the unfolding of our dreams. As we sow in the reality of seed time and harvest, God's provisional plan of prosperity, when we cooperate with God in seed time and harvest, nothing but nothing can control or block the processes of the unfolding of our most uh, intimate and uh, pronounced and uh, on fire dreams. Hallelujah. Um, and so we pray in this season that people will have the grace and the revelation of the concept of sowing. <coughs> know that it's unlimited the things that God will do for you as you cooperate in that manner and we do decree and say that money cometh to the body of Christ now money cometh to the body of Christ now but it does not come without sowing all right well there it is that's uh, what we wanted to say today um if you want to do your first fruit seed for the new year and get a seed in the ground to kick off 2021, then um, you can download Zelle 
on your smartphone and then enter the number 469-335-3356 or uh, download the Cash App and then enter SS, look for Steve Sterling, RIP, R-I-P, R-O-C-K, RIP Rock, SS RIP Rock, and you can get it through on the Cash App and uh, and then, of course, uh, uh, go to Dallas Revival Center on the computer and then you can see that there is a Pay Me PayPal hyperlink where you can sew that way. Don't even have to be a member of PayPal. And there you go. Or if you want to, if you want to send the first fruit seed in by um, mail, you can just put Dallas Revival Center, two seven one six three six Dallas Texas seven five two two seven. Enter uh, on your checks and your money orders. U a w o m i u a w o m i. Okay, this is Pastor Steve Sterling saying it's been fun, it's been real, it's been a real joy to be able to share the joy of the beginning of this new year with you. Blessings in Jesus' mighty name.